Welcome to Other Levels. In this video, we'll guide you through creating a work attendance dashboard using Microsoft Excel. Join our channel membership and enjoy the full video tutorial. You can get this template by visiting our online store, other-levels.com. Let's get started. First, we have the timesheet of employees, which includes their name, date, time in, and time out. Above the table, you'll see the job timing instructions. We'll begin by calculating how late each employee was. In a new column, we'll use a formula to check if the time in is later than the standard start time, which is 8 a.m. If it is, we subtract the start time from the actual time in. Don't forget to change the cell format to time for correct results. Next, we'll calculate the total working hours by subtracting the time out from the time in. This will give us the total hours worked. We'll also calculate any short time based on the shift duration. Finally, we must mention the day off, the national day, and the day absent. Now, let's make the dashboard visually appealing by updating the font type, changing colors, and applying a dark theme to the sheet. We'll also add a title using a text box for better presentation. Let's move to the Employee Info Worksheet to enhance the feel and look as we did in the timesheet.
We are now finished formatting the data tables and will begin creating the pivot tables. Choose the timetable and then choose pivot tables from the insert menu. In order to save your time, the steps will be shown in a short way. The day date and the sum of time in are what we need. Change the number format to time. The first value we are going to extract from the pivot table is the total attendance days. The formula will count all times in the C column. The second value that we're going to extract from they attend in late. All times over 8 in the C column will be counted by the formula. The third value, extract from they attend on time. The formula will count all times that less or equal to 8 o'clock in the C column. Okay, let's put these numbers in a box on the dashboard sheet. The next thing to look at is the working time. Add time in and time out, then subtract the time out from the time in to get the total hours worked. The next number is the total delay hours. Just add the delay to the values field. Next, find the total absent days and the total day off. According to the HR policy, the employee must obtain approval from the management if his absences exceed a specified range. For example, if his absences exceed 70 days, he must obtain approval from the direct manager. Add the right formula to accomplish this.
The next analysis will be to determine how many overtime hours the employees have worked. We will use a formula called sum product to figure out how much time we have each day. A line chart showing the total working hours per month is what we prefer to add. The last step is to add the selected employee details to the dashboard. You should add the employee name to the rows field. Then insert a slicer. When we select one of the employee names from this slicer, all the dashboard data will change and show his information and data. We need to show the employee photo and we want to change depends on slicer selection. And to achieve this we will use the VLOOKUP. That's it. You've successfully created a work attendance data and formulas, next video we will design the dashboard. You can buy this template directly from our website at other-levels.com. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to other levels.